This is Euclid Book 2, Proposition Number 8, and we're going to go through this step by step. And it's going to be more than one video because it is just too big to be put on one video. So here we go. First of all, we're going to draw a line. It's going to be AB. Here's point A, here's point B, and we're going to cut it off at a random point called C. So we got point A, point B, a straight line, and at some random point we're going to cut off and call it C. All right. Now, it says here that four times the rectangle contained by A, B, B, C. Okay, well, we're going to have a rectangle, and it's going to be c contained by lines A, B, and B, C. Okay? So A, B will probably be the length of it, and B, C will probably be the width of it. Okay, so four times the rectangle contained by lines A, B, B, C. Together with the square on A, C. Well, where's the square on A, C? Well, this is line A, C, and directly underneath it's going to be a square. Now, you don't see it yet, but you're going to have a square directly under A, C. So, four times the rectangle contained by the lines AB, BC, plus the square of AC, right, is equal to the square described on AB, BC as on one straight line. Okay. That's a lot. Let's just go right into the proof. Hang on just a second here. And try to tell you as much as we can. This is part one. There will be a part two. All right. Now, Euclid says that he wants you to extend out CB, or actually AB to be precise. He wants you to extend out line AB to a point called D. And he wants the length of BD to be exactly the same as the length of its CB. Okay, so we got those two lengths the same. And we now know that CB equals BD. That's given. Okay? And then, of course, Euclid is going to want you to draw this square. And it's going to be A, E, F, D. A, E, F, D. That's going to be a whole big square. All right? And then what he's going to want you to do is he wants you to draw a line from C to H... Also a line from B to L. And CH and BL are going to be parallel to each other. They're also going to be parallel to lines AE and DF. Okay? And then Euclid wants you to go on and draw a line from point D to point E. And after you've done all of that, Euclid wants you to draw a line from point M through point G through point K, because uh, DE intersects BL at point K, and then he wants you to ex extend that line all the way to N. So you're going to have a line, and it's going to be MGKN. All right. Then Euclid wants you to draw a line from point P through point R through point Q because DE crosses CH at point Q. So you're going to draw a line from point P to point R to point Q to point O. So now you're going to have a line called OQRP. Alright. Let's go on here. Since CB, the length of CB, is equal to the length of BD, then we can also say that CB is equal to the length of GK. CB equals GK. And BD to KN. BD to KN. Now, why is this length equal to this length and this length equal to this length? Well, that's because of Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 34. All right. Since we know that this length and this length are equal, this length and this length are equal, and this length and this length are equal, then we can also say that the length of GK and KN are equal. And that's by the transitive property. Then we can go on to say that by Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 34, GK equals QR. 
and uh, we could go on to say GK equals KN. And we can go on to say the KN is equal to RP. And that's Euclid Book 1, that proposition number 34. And we can go on to say the QR is equal to RP because of the transitive property. And by saying all of those things together, we can then start saying that G, uh, C, G, K, B, this area here is equal in size to B, K, N, D. This area is equal to this area, and we can say this because of Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 36. Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 36. Okay. We can also go on to say that the, that the area inside of GQRK is equal in size to the area of KRPN. Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 36 says so. And because the area of G, C, G, K, B is equal to the area of K, R, N, P, and that's because of Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 43, we can then go on to say that the area of B, K, N, D is equal to the area of G, Q, R, K, and that's the transitive property. In other words, um, if this area is equal to this area and and um, this area is equal to this area and uh, we go you know we go on around and around in circles okay we don't have to but you can figure that out for yourself point is that four times the area of g c g k b is the same as if you were to add the area of g c g k b plus BKDN plus GKQR plus KRNP, KRPN. So if you were to add this area and this area and this area and this area, you get four times this area right here. And that's where we're going to stop Euclid Book 1, Proposition number 8, right at this moment. And we will carry on with it in the next video. Stay tuned.